Alright, this is SSL Family Dad here with Simple Suburban Living and I have uh, Eva and Kayla here with me. They're going to help out with this project. And basically today what we're going to be doing is just building a giant Jenga game. Um, and uh, if you've played Jenga or seen it before, it's basically a block uh, game, uh, tower building game that you uh, play with as many people as you want to. Um, and you have to just pull blocks out from the bottom of it and the person who makes the tower fall down basically loses. Um, and so we're just going to build a giant one for picnics and parties and uh, that, that type of thing. Um, so this will be a, something you'll play outdoors, obviously. Uh, what we're going to be using for the blocks is going to be 2 by 4s um, They're going to be, each one will be 10 and a half inches long. So we're going to cut 60 10 and a half inch long uh, 2 by 4 sections here. The um, reason they're 10 and a half inches long is because in order to make a square, um, each 2 by 4 is 3 and a half inches long. There'll be three of them, so that's your 10 and a half inches wide. Um, and uh, you'll see kind of at the end here how they're stacked and, uh, and how it works. But uh, um, I'm going to be starting off just by cutting all these into 10 half inch sections. And then we're going to use a belt sander uh, rig here that I'll show you to round off the edges and just kind of make it a little bit smoother. We'll do some finishing sanding just to smooth down the, the, all the face uh, surfaces of the 2x4s. And then we're going to stain them with uh, or seal them up with some linseed oil. So uh, we'll show you the process along the way here and what the uh, finished project looks like. So should be a real simple project, um, just a little bit time consuming because there's 60 pieces. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so it turns out that the table saw wasn't quite working. The depth of the blade just isn't enough to cut through two by fours. Um, I guess that's what you get with a garage sale uh, table saw. So uh, we're using the skill saw or the circular saw here to cut all the two by fours. Um, it's not quite as nice of a cut and they're not all quite as straight, but since we have the belt sander set up to take off any imperfections, it's actually working out okay. So. Okay, so I don't have a real nice shop the disc sander or belt sander, so I've kind of rigged this up basically with a small vise on a piece of uh, 2x10, um, and uh, I have my, my little belt sander, my Craftsman belt sander rigged up here. And we're just going to be using this to take the edge off of all of the 2x4s um, and just kind of round them off so they look a little bit nicer. And for the next stage, we're going to sand off all the faces of the 2x4s. We're just using a, uh, an older uh, finish sander, Black & Decker finish sander. So we've got some 120 grit uh, paper on here, um, or actually 150 grit paper on here, just to give it a nice smooth finish so the blocks will slide in and out of the tower uh, as best as possible. Uh, getting these all sanded. Um, obviously this takes quite a long time, but uh, I've got an old piece of carpet here. It's got kind of a, it looks like a bathroom carpet or something like that. It's got kind of a rubber back to it, uh, which makes it real nice to set these uh, pieces of wood down here. You can get a bunch of them in a row. Um, and then just use your uh, finish sander to just go over all of them at one time. And then just pick each one up and just kind of finish off the ends. So this seems to work really good. This uh, sticky surface on the back of the carpet here just kind of holds them all in place when you add the sander so they're not vibrating all the time. All right, so the, the last thing that we're doing here with each one of the blocks is just rubbing some boiled linseed oil on. Um, this is just going to help protect the wood a little bit um, in case they get left out or get wet or anything like that. Um, helps kind of preserve the wood. also makes it look look kind of nice too. It brings out the color of the, the wood real, uh, real well. So we'll probably end up putting two applications of the linseed oil on there. We'll put one on now and then we'll probably wait a week or two, make sure the wood really sucks that linseed oil in, absorbs it, and then we'll go ahead and put uh, a second coat on. So I think this will make them look real nice and they should, should also help with them, uh, how they'll slide uh, when they're stacked in a, in a tower as well, make them slide in and out of the uh, tower easier. Alright, so that pretty much wraps it up. We've got the, the full-size Jenga game uh, uh, completed here. So, as you can see now, um, this is why we had to do 10 and a half inch blocks um, when they're stacked, uh, three next to each other here. Um, you get 10 and a half inches, so it becomes a square uh, because each 2x4 is about three and a half inches wide. Um, 
The linseed oil really gives us a nice finish and uh, it'll help protect the wood a little bit and uh, it kind of toughens the wood up too as the, the linseed oil absorbs into the, the wood. Um, I would recommend, you know, if you're going to use linseed oil, you have to probably reapply it every year. Um, but it is a non-toxic uh, finish, which is really nice. So um, I think this will be a lot of fun. So it's, I'm going to probably build a carrying case or something for it down the road. But this is great to take to family functions and picnics and um, just throw it on a piece of plywood out in the yard, set it on a little card table or something like that. Um, and it'll be a lot of fun for kids and adults of any age. So uh, we're, we're pretty excited about using it uh, this weekend. But uh, um, thank you for watching and following along here. If you have any questions, please throw them in the comment section. Hit thumbs up if you enjoyed the video or if you found it useful or interesting. Um, and subscribe to our channel if you're interested in any other sustainable projects. We have aquaponics and some other things. I'll link over to some of our uh, most popular videos here at the end of the video. So uh, stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.